This is the Sabvaton SSC72150, which is the unlocked version that you have to request when you place your order or before you place your order. Send a request to say, can you do it? And if they say yes, you pay your money, leave a note on AliExpress and say, please provide me with an unlocked version. This is going to go into version 3 of the e-bike. Um, it comes with all the connectors you need, but I'm not using them because they're not IP rated connectors, they're just crap. It, come, it comes with a programming lead, and it also, this time, comes with a USB dongle, uh, which apparently is just an HCO5, but I'm going to take this apart, not now, to see if it is. One thing I've noticed, it's bloody bent already. Anyway, so I'm going to take that apart just to see if I can tap into the Sabvaton because there is a lot of data on there that gives you through, you get through this live data through your phone. So there's that. And it comes with this rubber boot. Now, as per usual, I'm not taking this for granted that everything's okay. I always take everything apart every single time I get something from China. So you lift that off. And then you're left with ATX sort of uh, power connector. So there's your wiring harness. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through all these uh, connectors and everything else and the wires and the pinouts and everything when I actually build the thing which is going to be over the winter so watch out for that one. This is just a tear down of this just to see what's what and whether it's all put together properly inside. I take it apart, there's four screws and that's it. So I'll take them out, then I'll come back. There's four screws in here, which I don't even know if you need to take them out, but the first thing, it gets a bit worrying when you see things like this. That screw there is cross, it's not through the cross thread, it's stripped. So I can't get the bloody thing out. Now the other thing that worries me is, because this is an unlocked version and people have run 250 amps through them, that's 180 amp fuse. I presume it's a fuse and not a, a shunt. I presume it's a fuse. Don't know. Looks like a fuse. Anyway, so I've taken the screws out the bottom and I've got my very careful adjustment instrument. And I hope, I think where it's going to be tight is these should be IP they're like a rubber seal around them so it's that's where it's going to be tough to get it off I need a different uh, adjustment instrument no I'm going to take the fuse off as well my adjustment instrument Us blokes don't need Phillips screwdrivers, you know, we just... <laughs> we just use whatever. I mean, it looks like you don't have to take that out. So I'll get my adjustment instrument again. And leave it a bit there. Yeah, it's coming out. Oh, those, those screws in there don't even do anything. Oh, they do, they go into that, yeah. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> There's not a lot to it. Oh, dear. What the hell's going on there? 
Oh my god, this is a rework. This has been repaired. Don't know if you can see that there, but that capacitor. Where's my other glasses? I can't see. Where's my glasses? Yeah, that's had a that's had a blown capacitor and that's been repaired and not done properly. I don't know if you can see it, but can you see solder on there. You can see solder there and you can see solder there where somebody hasn't taken this apart, they've actually fitted that capacitor with this still on. Focus you fucking thing. And by the looks of it they haven't done a very good job. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fire it up, I'm going to bang uh, a few volts through it and I'm going to see if I can make it, all I want to do is get the, the data from the USB so I'll plug all the cables in, plug all the cables in, fire it up and then get the data from the USB because I want to make sure that it is actually unlocked and not the locked version because I'm a bit dubious about it now. I've wired it up, I've got two batteries here, I've got a 6S and a 4S, they're in series to give me 40 something volts, I don't know, 22, 30 odd, odd whatever. They're in series wired to the positive and the negative on the sub baton and then this one here is the E-lock. This is the E-lock cable so all you need to do is take the wire and wire it to the positive. That's all you need to do to fire it up. And then here I've got the USB um, Bluetooth dongle and it's connected. Now the one thing that I wanted to test, although there is actually an error on it, I know about that. The one thing I wanted to test to make sure that these things will actually run at whatever ampage I want. So, as you can see there it's actually saved the boost current at 250 amps so if I change uh, the protected phase current if I change that to I want 600 amps on there it saves it otherwise it doesn't it goes back to the original one so the maximum phase current I want at what was it 520 520 amps lovely let's just make sure it's saved it so there you go I've got the maximum phase current of 520 amps protected at 600 um, the rated phase current can't remember what the other is anyway it's saving all the data so it is an unlocked version uh, all the temperatures I know won't work, the throttle I know won't work, nothing will actually work at the minute because nothing's wired up. So, system error. Hall error. Wonder why? <laughs> so, it's all... Um, I don't even know what these are. Motor parameter 300. I've got a lot of reading to do because this is the first time I've actually had the Bluetooth and the app and everything else running so I ain't got the faintest idea. But that is that is all I wanted to test is to make sure that it is actually an unlocked version. Now I've got a bit of a... You know when you think you look at something you think that's a bit, uh, a bit worrying. Well I bought this thing and it turned up a couple of weeks ago and I've just been on AliExpress and QS Motor who manufacture these have stopped selling the, the SSCs and I don't know why. That's that done, that's all I can test on it at the minute because obviously I need to wire everything up but it does work. Fantastic. Part 1. Done. I don't know what part 2 is going to be. Maybe it's one that it sets on fire. Oh, I don't know.